wrong with my face? <laughs> hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and it's Halloween time almost, so I'm gonna do five PS2 games that you should check out for this month. So the first game is Michigan Report from Hell. This is a game that not many people knew about when I was going through like the PS2 era. Basically, it is a game where you start off as a rookie cameraman and from there you have to do the usual find what's going on in the mist. You have a team that's the reporter, the Ma the mic guy, and a couple other people, you know, the protection team. And basically, you have to go through, and you find out in the town that there's a mist. And in the mist, it turns people into monsters. You have to get through the mist and go all the way to the very end and survive. I kind of get that Silent Hill meets Stephen King's Mist. I see where they're going with it. It's a fun game if you take away the voice acting. Don't listen to Pamela. Pamela is a horrible... Hmm, so we're gonna leave her alone and you just let her die. Let her die, her slow painful death, and you will enjoy this video slash game because it really does feel like a movie in a way because you're literally seeing the perspective of the camera the whole time. So think of Blair Witch, but for the PS2. And the second game is Evil Twin Superion's Chronicles. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly. I just call him Sib because that's easier to say. But basically, this game is a mind trip. Really is a good one. So, this one is also on the PC. It is basically, the story is, you're in an orphanage, you're Sib. You're going through, and today is your birthday, and you're sad because your parents passed away on your birthday. And you go down to a party, and the party is always, every year, how are you feeling, Sib? Are you okay, Sib? Are you this, Sib? And he gets irritated and frustrated. And he walks up and he goes to his room and he's like, I'm so sick and tired of everybody asking me if I'm okay. I just want to have my birthday party. I just want to be a, this is a normal day. I just want to stop asking, having questions asked to me. Like, can you just stop? And his imaginary friend, Lenny, comes up and goes, what's wrong, Sib? Are you okay, Sib? And he's like, stop it, Lenny. You are no longer my imaginary friend, I am kicking you to the curb. And basically, as he says this, Lenny disappears. But the world turns into a weird, psychedelic, creepy, and you're like, what is going on? You meet one of Lenny's friends, and Lenny's friend tells you, you know what, I'm sorry, but, you know, Lenny is in another world, and you're in this now. And you see your evil twin, I call him, because he literally looks just like you, but he's an evil demonic person. And he says, well, you caused this chaos, Sib, and you're going to be in here forever. So you have to save yourself and Lenny and get back to the normal world. It is a really good game. I recommend this to anybody to try it out for the PS2 and on the PC. The next game on the list is Vampire Night. This one is an arcade game that was turned into a port for the PS2. It's a light gun game. Basically, you're Michelle and Albert, and you're vampires, and you're vampire hunters. So you go through, and you're seeing this town overrun, and it's in France, and you're trying to save everybody in the whole town, and you meet this little girl, and you have to save her, and keep everybody alive as much as possible. And I love this game. It's a nice shooter. You go through, and... I won't spoil anything, but you really love the storyline. The acting is really good. One of those you gotta definitely check out. The next game on the list is Ghost Hunter. This is a third person shooter. Basically, you are Detective Jones. You are going with your partner to a prank call every Halloween or every time it's that time when the murder happened. Somebody prank calls that the lab, there's something going on there. Basically, the partner tells you, hey, there was a murder, 10 people passed away, don't know what happened to the guy who actually was the killer, and you're gonna have to go through, we always have this prank every year, you're gonna go through, sweep the freaking building, and just be done. So Jones is like, well, I know you guys are gonna prank me, I'm not gonna fall for this. So, wherever you are, and he's yelling at the, the team, wherever you are, don't scare me, Ooh. So he goes through, finds something, hits a button, don't know why, and a gas 
goes through everything. And in that, he wakes up and goes, whoa, what happened? And he sees his partner getting taken away by a spirit, a ghost. So you have to save your partner and yourself in this building slash place, like ghost town, and you have to get out of it. So basically, you have to get rid of all the ghosts, get the energy, go through, and get all the way to the end. I like this game. It's a third person shooter, but you can make it first person, but there's some stuff that you can't do when you're first person. So I recommend go and try it. You could be Detective Jones and get rid of all the ghosts. And the last game on the list is Extermination. This one is a PS2 game that not many people were talking about at the time that I wish that they would. You got to check this one out. Basically, you are Dennis. You are in a team, kind of like a SEAL team, and you have to go to Fort Stewart in Antarctica and find out what happened. Why is there a distress call coming from Fort Stewart? You go through thinking it's a normal routine that somebody's probably just doing something stupid or something actually happened where like some people invaded the fort. You go through, you find out actually that there is something going on, but it's not actually human. It's more mutated humans that are running around. And you end up meeting an old pal's girlfriend who passed away that you find her and she tells you, yeah, you guys got to get out. Something happened, people are mutating, we gotta get out of here, but we gotta tell the story, so we gotta get going. <laughs> I will say you gotta love the voice acting. There's one actor slash character that I love in this game. His name is Gary. When you meet Gary, you're gonna get some shenanigans going. So, dude, check this game out. It's really, really good. It reminds me of a little bit of top-down like Resident Evil. And from there, you have to survive. It really is a hard game, I will say. You have to keep going through. If you get to a certain point in your, your damage level, I think it's like below 50, you will get attacked and hurt by almost everything. If you're like at 100%, it's not that hard because, you know, you see a lot of things, but you're on a timer. You're Most of the time, you have to keep going and doing stuff. So watch out for the mutated. Don't get infected and survive. So guys, those are five games that I recommend for this October for the PS2. Please check them out. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please hit the sub button. And as always, happy Halloween.